Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's assembly. Now, this assembly is very specifically about um, the food bank because we are going to start supporting the food bank again. You might remember that we did this early on in the year and last year, and they were really grateful for what we will be able to fundraise for them and the amount of food that we got. And the food bank is a charity that is always in need of our donations. So what we have decided as a school and with St John's is that we will have a permanent food bank here so that at any time of the year we will be able to drop off food into the food bank and it will get collected and taken to the main food bank so that we can support those people that need it. Now the food bank to help us and to help you understand why it's so important and what goes on at the food bank have created a little video so I'm going to share my screen and show you the video that they have created. Welcome to West Bart's Food Bank. Last year we fed 15,000 people, including 7,500 children. This is our goods in department. So everything that comes in from the schools, you, and churches and the supermarkets when you donate, it all comes into this part of the building. So our amazing group of volunteers who give up their time so freely will actually sort out all of this that comes in from all of the lovely donations. And then what we do is we sort it into certain things, or cereals, biscuits, soup, rice. We check everything to make sure that it's in date, because that's really important, and make sure that nothing's been crushed or um, dirty, because we want to send out good quality things to our clients. So as you can see, We've got a lot of food to sort out. Thank you, that's down to the generosity of you, your mums and dads, and everybody else. Come this way. At West Barks Food Bank, we hold over 29 tonnes of stock to make sure that we have everything for our clients. 29 tonnes. Now that's six elephants, or actually 29 giraffes. As you know, it's really important to eat all of your fresh fruit and veg five a day. So we're really lucky and we are able to buy in fresh fruit and veg. So every household will get apples, oranges, carrots, potatoes, onions um, every week and bread. Also, the lovely people at Beechwood Farm Eggs donate eggs to us every week as well. So thank you, Beechwood. Every day, Monday to Friday, we have another team of volunteers, our collection drivers, who will go to the supermarkets, to the schools, and to the churches, and pick up crates and crates and crates of donated food. It's amazing. Thank you. And this is distribution. So this is where another group of lovely volunteers come in, and they pack boxes for our families to send out. We pack a standard box, we have a standard list, but then we try and add in extras and some of the nice things because I think it's really important that not only does everybody have the basics but who doesn't want some Kit Kat or some fruit pastels so what you see in front of you is enough food for a small family for seven days as we speak to every single family individually we're able to add on the extras now everybody gets washing powder and washing up liquid, shower gel, shampoo, because if you can't afford fake beans, you can't afford bath stuff. But then because we speak to every family and every household, we're able to know what they need. Now this family, they've got, they needed baby food and nappies. They've got cats, they've got dogs. And we found out that it's mum's birthday. So we're slipping in a treat for her. So after we've spoken to the families and we understand what they need, we then pack everything into brown boxes. So there's nothing on here that says it's the food bank. So it's very discreet and confidential. And we have single boxes for single people. These are for couples. These are for our small families. 
And over here we've got the large ones for the large families. So as you can see, there's quite a lot of food there. These will all be collected again by amazing volunteers and they'll be taken in their cars and they'll be delivered to the home of the family that needs it or the person that needs it. And our drivers work really hard at being friendly and saying hello and just checking up on them and making sure that they're okay. And my favourite room. My favourite room probably because it's got all the crisps, all of the chocolates, all of the biscuits. So who wouldn't like this room? The most important thing in West Bath Food Bank is to make sure that we support all of our families and try and help them get out of the situation that they're in by directing them to other charities or agencies to help them with their money problems or getting clothes or school uniform. Please understand that it's nobody's fault if you have to come to the food bank. It's because life's complicated and with the pandemic, lots and lots of people have had to turn to the food bank and we're more than happy to help. But with about 20 tonnes of food going out each and every month to about 1,500 people, it's really important that we get the support of our schools and get donations in. So initiatives with schools from, with the help of Rosie, who is our lovely schools manager, is really important to us. So thank you for considering West Bath Food Bank as one of your charities to support. Um, please do what you can, um, make sure it's fun, um, and we'd love to meet you and we'd love to have you up at the food bank so you can see actually what happens. So when things get back to normal, please you're all welcome to come up and see us. Bye bye. Okay, I'm just going to stop sharing. So that was the lovely people at the food bank. Now, like they said, um, they would like us to be able to go and visit. So hopefully next year, next term, we might be able to send some people up there to actually see what the process is like and to see what is actually happening with the food. But up until then, what you will see in our reception, we are going to have some temporary food boxes. So some big green crates and they will be ready for you to donate your food pieces. As we move forward, once we get our permanent collection, we'll have a more, um, I think it's gonna be like a big box that will always sit in reception and you can bring food bits anytime and pop them in there. And then we'll, we will send for the collections. So as they said, really important, such a great charity. So if you are able to spare anything, when you're doing your shopping, if you're able to pick up an extra tin or something else as you're doing your shopping, they would be so, so grateful. So thank you all for watching that this week. And I hope you can start donating soon. I'll see you all soon.